Well, it all started when Dad came home with a note of some sort. It was weird because he had it all protected in a container in the kitchen and wouldn't let me see it. He tried to keep it secret from me and my mom, but I saw it first and asked him about it. He then told me to just go outside and play, but then Mom came in the kitchen and she looked really worried when she saw him. They started talking about work or something, but I just wanted to see what was on the paper. It had to be something good, like a secret or something. I tried squinting my eyes to see if I could make out the words without moving closer, but then Mom started yelling really loud. Something about her not wanting Dad to lead people here, or something. They yell at each other a lot, so I'm pretty used to it by now. Dad says it's not because of me, so I should never feel bad. But sometimes Mom does make me feel bad. And I don't really like her when she gets mad at Dad, but he tells me he's a super spy like the guy on TV and can handle any trouble, no matter the size! Bang bang! The good guy always wins! Oh! So yeah, when I left the room, I went and looked at the note. It was so silly just having a paper in a container like a sandwich or something. So I took the lid off and grabbed the note and read it. It must have been in another language or something, because I couldn't understand any of it. Looks well, kind of boring to be honest, but it had to have something that Dad would want to keep secret. As I was trying to make out the note, Dad caught me. And then he got upset at me. He real quick scooped the paper back in the container and shed it, all the while telling me to never touch Dad's work and stuff. Then he just looked at me for a minute like he was looking for something on me. I was gonna ask him what the big deal was, but then he just told me to go play outside because he and Mom had some work business to talk about. So I got dressed and put on my red coat and went outside into the snow. I remember it was a very nice day outside. The sun was poking through some clouds, and I could smell the cold dirt and snow and trees. That's my favorite part about living up in the mountain. Everything always smells and looks so nice outside. Anyway, I saw my neighbor friends, Kyle and Annabelle, were already outside throwing snowballs at each other. I tried to sneak up on them, but Kyle saw me like a mile away and tried to pelt me down too. I didn't know that I'd slip some snow in my pockets, though, so... Oh yeah, anyway, eventually we decided we wanted to go and explore through the thick trees and see if we could find some of those snow rabbits. There were a bunch of them out lately, and Kyle wanted to catch one. Annabelle wasn't really interested, but she came along anyway. Eventually, we came across a little river running through the mountain, and there was a tree that fell across it, making like a bridge. Annabelle said we should just explore along the river, but I wanted to go across. So Kyle had the idea that we walk across the log together, so nobody tries to make anyone fall. So we all grabbed hands and tried to walk across the log. We got maybe halfway before it shook and turned a little bit. I felt Annabelle behind me lose balance, and she pulled me and Kyle down. We all fell into the water, and I squeaked my hand pretty bad on a rock or something in the water. At least the water wasn't very deep. Turns out we could stand pretty easily, but wow, that water was really cold! Kyle said a swear and Annabelle was jumping up and down because the water was freezing. I rushed out pretty fast too because I didn't have that many clothes on for being outside. Annabelle said we should go back home because we could get hyperthermic or something. I don't know, but it still sounded good to go back into a warm house. I was mad at Annabelle for a little bit, but I guess that's just what siblings do. We made it back home, but then there was nothing there. Like, I know where my home was, and it just wasn't there. The house just vanished, along with the yard, the fence, the car, the road. There was nothing there at all. Just a bunch of trees, and I know where my home is. I used to get lost a lot until my parents helped me learn that it's exactly 240 steps in front of the crooked tree by the road. Since Kyle and Annabelle's house was a little ways further down, they tried to make fun of me that I didn't know where I lived. So I showed them. We went back to the crooked tree by the road. Except there wasn't a road there anymore. Just the tree. They didn't realize it though because their dad always drives them everywhere. Whereas I have to walk to town sometimes. But anyway, we were getting really cold now from the water and I wanted to hurry back home. So I counted the 240 steps in front of the tree and nothing. 
I think they started to believe me now, because they seem to be getting real confused. Kyle said that we should go to their house and just call my mom and dad. So I followed them until eventually they both stopped as well. Their house was gone too! It was so weird! It was like nobody had ever been on this mountain before! They didn't know what to do, so they just started calling out for their parents. I was really starting to get scared now. I was thinking, what if we got really, really lost and this place just looked like our area? What if we never get found? Or what if something really did happen to our home and our parents? I don't know. I got scared and just ran away from Kyle and Annabelle. Hearing them calling out was scaring me, so I just wanted to get away. I ran and I ran, trying to find some road or building or anything. But there was nothing here at all but the snow and the trees. I tried to cry out for my dad, but the coldness of the wind felt like it was stabbing my body because I was still kind of wet from earlier and I couldn't really make much of a sound from my mouth. Then, I had the idea to go to the top of the mountain. Dad used to take me up there sometimes when Mom got really, really mad and showed me that at the very top, you can see the entire city from there. It looked best at nighttime with all the lights. But I knew, if I could just get up there, I could head to the city and get help there. I just really wanted to see anybody else exist. It was a really tiring climb, and my body was starting to feel really numb. I had to look at my feet to make sure I was stepping where I wanted to step, because I could barely feel them at that point. I remember I was really tired and hurting and cold. My face felt like it was cracking apart and my hands were getting really torn up. But I finally did it! I made it to the top, and when I looked over the mountain, there was absolutely nothing! There was no city, no buildings, no cars, no roads, no people. It was just more trees and snow. I know this was the spot, but there was really, really nothing there! It was like a completely empty world, but I was stuck in it. I heard Kyle and Annabelle calling out for me a ways away. So I guess they followed me, but I was so confused and scared at what I saw that I think I just tripped backwards or something because I fell and hit my head. I think I stayed awake after that fall because I remember getting right back up. I was still on the mountain, but this time when I looked, there everything was again. There was the city and all its buildings and roads and stuff. I got so relieved that I tried to run back, but my legs could barely move at all. I tried to call out for Kyle and Annabelle who were just behind me, but they didn't answer back. I found a big stick that helped me walk back home, and I was so happy to see it was there again with the yard and my dad's car and all that. My mom was already outside on the phone looking worried, and when she saw me, rushed and carried me back inside. I guess we have been missing for half a day already, so they sent out, like, a search party. I turned out alright, but... They still haven't found Kyle or Annabelle. I don't know what happened to them. I swear, they were right behind when I was up on the mountain. I did hear them calling after me, but after I tripped, I don't know what happened. All I really know is that that place was real. It wasn't a dream or anything, cause they were there too. And they're missing. I really don't want to go back to that empty world, but... I think Kyle and Annabelle are still trapped there.